Yeah, I've been, been in 4-H for 50 years. The flip side of the clover. Someone in 4-H in their youth who now gives their time to the organization as an adult. It's a family thing. It's, you help out the kids and you keep them uh, on the right track for his 4-H. David McDaniel of Knoxville has a half century of 4-H horsing, riding and showing these beautiful animals as a boy, and now passing that knowledge to a younger generation. Here he volunteers at the recent Clover Classic Show in Harriman. Uh, of course, everybody wants to win, and I want them to win, but everybody can't win first place. But I, to me, I'm the one that's out there when they have a bad day. I'm grandpa to lean on. Mr. McDaniel is one of 2,800 statewide Tennessee volunteers for 4-H. UT Extension employees serve as 4-H agents in every county, but they rely on volunteers to deliver many programs, and adults working with youth is critical to the organization's effectiveness. They have a passion for, for youth that sometimes is, um, uh, when we capture that passion, I guess it, it, it really does uh, push the program forward. Um, you know, they bring, they bring an excitement. Two key benefits to volunteerism here. First, just the work these volunteers do, their contribution and expertise. And the young 4-H'ers get to witness a volunteer in action. They see how important it is to donate your time, and hopefully these kids will someday become volunteers themselves. I can guarantee you that you've seen the effect of the 4-H program in your community. That was the case for Matthew Hibden, who grew up in 4-H in Warren County and now works for MTSU. He now volunteers for 4-H judging and consumer decision-making events, especially working with high school and college students. The essential nature of volunteerism was instilled in me as a 4-H'er, and so now I get to be a part at the state and national level of helping youth have uh, similar experiences to what I had and making sure that you know, when they're at a competition, always you know, make sure that they know that they can relax and breathe and you know, try to take the, the pressure off because I've been in their shoes not too long ago. It's sometimes said 4-H is an investment in future leaders, and we could add future volunteers to that notion. Now a current generation of volunteers are hard at work, and their willingness to give is welcomed and appreciated. This is Charles Denny reporting.